My name is Gordon, and although I'm only 16 years old, I'm already a born leader. Okay, I'm not the most popular boy in the class, but that's because I'm not the most handsome or the captain of the football team. But I'm the one who gets the best grades, and surely I'm the one that has a more promising future. That arouses a lot of envy around me, of course. I don't get along with some of my high school classmates. Many don't even talk to me, but I don't care at all. They won't intimidate me. I continue doing my thing with my head held high. I participate in class and give my opinion whenever I consider it appropriate. <laughs> That's probably why the tutor chose me as a course delegate, despite the bad attitude from many in the class. One more achievement in my resume. To tell you the truth, I didn't expect it. I always thought that our teacher was a rather simple man. By the way he teaches, it shows that he doesn't have much idea about it. I didn't think he would notice me. Maybe it had to do with a volunteer job to lift a grade that I presented a few weeks ago. I learned that he was of Caribbean origin, from Haiti, so I did it about his culture and traditions. I didn't try very hard, but he gave me a 10. He must have liked it. The fact is that when looking for documentation, I discovered voodoo, a religion based on Santeria and superstitions. Above all, voodoo dolls got my attention, small recreations made by other people, to influence and manipulate them. I didn't take it very seriously. I don't usually believe in these things, but the fact of having that power over others fascinated me. But a few weeks later, I found myself in a difficult situation. When the professor said there would be a pop quiz the next day, not that I was going to fail, but I hadn't studied enough to get a good grade, and that could hurt my average. In a moment of despair, I remembered what I had read about voodoo. <laughs> so I went crazy to search the internet on how to make a doll of my teacher. I didn't want to hurt him, just gain some time to study more. I couldn't spoil the whole class due to a stupid exam. When I finally had it, I stuck a pin to cause a headache, as I had read. That night I couldn't sleep. I was restless. I didn't know very well why I had done it. I didn't even think it would work. But you know what? The next day the exam was cancelled. The teacher couldn't come because he had a headache. Was it all a coincidence? Or did I have great power in my hands? I was scared and fascinated. But I tried to promise myself that I would never do it again. Until one day, one of the boys made a joke about me in gym class in front of everyone because I wasn't able to do an exercise. I already told you that I usually don't pay attention to those comments, but this time I felt so humiliated that I needed my revenge. I made a doll of him and spent weeks pinching on his leg and spent weeks pinching on his leg so that he would get an injury. And guess what? The football team was left without its star for the rest of the season. At that point, I felt like a kind of god with power over anyone. <laughs> I started making dolls of all those who disliked me but swearing to myself that I would only use them for a good cause. One day, one of them stood up against me in front of the whole class for a decision I made as the delegate. That got me so mad. Who did he think he was to question me? Without thinking, I took his doll out of my backpack and began to pin a pin in his stomach viciously, almost stabbing him. But as much as I insisted, nothing happened. On the contrary, the rest of the class stared at me. And when they realized what I was doing, they laughed at me. <laughs> but worst of all, my teacher had a very serious conversation with my parents, and now I have to go to therapy with a psychologist twice a week. And of course, I've stopped being the class delegate. My life sucks. Does your life suck as well and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesucks at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.